Okay, so we uh, should say that originally we were going to have an afternoon session and then we thought, no, people want to be to have an afternoon free at last and to go and, uh, since we've also been very lucky with the weather, uh, to have uh, the whole afternoon off. So we moved and that's why it was a bit crammed in the morning. So we're going to have a very brief closing ceremony. We didn't ask authorities because they tend to go on and on and they were there at the, at the opening. So uh, first of all, I, say, I want to say that I'm speaking on behalf of both. Liam and myself. She keeps losing her voice in this conference. In that she has a, she started with a problem with her throat, and we have two other colleagues in this position. So I don't know that it's a local virus, but I'm speaking on behalf of both of us, who are the main conveners. And above all, we, although we want to make it very short, we do want to name some of the people that made this possible. We first want to thank Carla Rodriguez, who. Might be, oh, okay, she did make it because she was taking care of the general children of the <laughs> participants. <laughs> Dear colleague and part of the intersections group, Christina Djuricic, who was also taking part in various things. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Two colleagues who can't be here for personal reasons, um, but who were part of this, uh, Luzmar Gonzalez Arias and Esther Alvarez and all the members of the intersections group, some of whom have been plenaries in their own right, and others who, are, who have been giving papers, and you probably know, and the collaborating group translated, and my colleague Socorro Suarez La Fuente, who was the co-organizer in 96, and you, many of you know her. But above all, we've had incredible support from our mostly PhD students, and we want to really name them and tell you who they are. First of all, Mia Sol Eribar, who was doing some paperwork. Is she here? Yes, okay. <laughs> Mia Sol is a postdoc specialist in Canadian literature. She was also responsible for getting us free water for the whole oh. conference. Yeah. So apart from doing all, all the traveling things for the guests, etc., and, and has been working for a long time with us now. Susel Lopez Vaquez, who is an ex PhD on Cuba, who is probably doing something or other. Eva Pelayo, working in Italian American. <laughs> Finishing a PhD on Italian American literature. Andrea Fernandez, working on, <laughs> working on Chicana literature. Ana Maria Cristea on Quebec film, one of our uh, students who has come from abroad to work with us from Romania, we've got two, um, Sandra Garcia Corte, who some of you know from the excursion and has done a number of things apart from the excursion, working on Afropolitan literature, Raluca Pinsari, somewhere. Marie Curie Scholarship, working on urban laughter. Paola Prieto, over there. Black, black performances, and she was also responsible for the translation of the, the performance last night, and, and largely for all the things going wrong being fixed in time, like the lights and all this. And so. Um, Raquel Fernandez has joined us recently from the Spanish department. Fernando Perez is probably, I think, oh, there, over there, who is <laughs> who's also working on Canadian black urban and was, and, uh, and well, hip hop literature and various things, and who was also made it possible for the wonderful performance by Inua Elams to work the other night. And I skipped. Andrea Rodriguez, poor Andrea Rodriguez over there. <laughs> Working on Scottish Noir, who will be leading the excursion tomorrow and led the walking tour yesterday, apart from all the other work they've done. I really, and there are the Cristina Riano and the undergraduate uh, group, who are too large to mention. But thank you very, very, very much to all of you. Okay, thank you. I also want to say briefly that we will be, we'll have all the, the plenaries, they're all recorded, and they will, well, the audiovisual people who have been so, so helpful, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Um, 
they will all be available, but in, let's say, two, three weeks' time, because the university is closed next week, and they have quite a lot of work uh, loaded up, but they're, going to, they're all going to be available for you to listen to again and to watch if you missed any or whatever, okay? Um, so to members of the ACLAS as well, thank you so much for the trust placed on the new team. We hope we can live up to expectations and to continue the quality of the management. I uh, really want to thank again uh, the former board here represented here by Helga, but also Jeff, Petra, Laura, Veronica. We're going to miss you. We hope you will continue to stay with us and help us. And we know the transition, of course, would be perfect, but we, we hope you, we will see, still see you and we hope we'll uh, meet your expectations. Our task was made a lot easier by you right through, and we're very grateful to you all. Um, and finally, we're, of course, indebted to you all for your presentations, plenaries, patience. You've been very, very, very patient with everything that needed to go back and forth on emails, previous emails, and while well, you've been here. We hope you've enjoyed the academic experience and the convivial part of the conference and that you return to Oviedo soon and see you in Groningen, if not before that, but we'll be delighted to see you here at any time. Please come back. Thank you. Thank you. Isabel and Leama, on behalf of EACLAS, I think of all of us, I want to say thank you for this wonderful, wonderful conference. We've felt safe, we've been fed well, and we've been very inspired by the many different performances, uh, talks you have offered us uh, on your menu, on your program. It's been most enjoyable. The hospitality was simply fantastic. And I also want to thank the team whom I managed to get to know over the last year. They were so wonderfully present all the time. Uh, it was not you were not working in the background. You were so much part of this conference, and I hope you will be part of IACLAS in the future, and we'll see you again at future conferences. Thank you so very much. And as a little token, a little memento of this event, unfortunately, only to, to the two of you, um, just a little present for them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Can we open it now? No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I also want to say thanks on behalf of the city of Oviedo. Neither Liam nor I are from Oviedo, nor is Belen really, but we've all been out of It's our adopted family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are not for you. Okay, these Moscovitas here are for all the students. When you come back after the holidays, you can have, you know, a sweet return. <laughs> Should have specified even more to our performers who have been so amazing. You know, just <laughs> Thank you so much. We're really May so I just grateful. say uh, to those who were not at the business meeting yesterday, um, Isabel and Liama have taken over as treasurer and chair. And I have a task for you, Isabel. You should compose a kind of hymn, Eacla's <laughs> hymn, that we can sing at the end to, to the organizers of the conference. Alicia and Denise should compose oh, the Eacla's <laughs> little um, <laughs> hymn. Yes, we've got all the poets, and we just need them, the musicians. Is that, uh, so maybe Denise and... Uh, I'm not sure, but it will have to be something we can sing, because if we have to sing like Denise King, I don't think we'll manage that. <laughs> so anyway, thank you. By this. I want to show you. There are two present openers you all know. The ones who just rip it open and the ones who keep, want to keep the paper completely whole. I'm one of those, but then you don't do anything with it, so it's a bit silly. Oh, how beautiful. Thank you. Okay, that was totally beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Helga. Lovely.
Thank you. It's exquisite, actually. Very beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I see you're reluctant to go. <laughs> so are we. Well, remember that... Two things, two announcements, conference announcements. There are always some. Um, there, remember, there's a get together and evening uh, dance and drink at the Per Se tonight. It's a place that's right behind. It's behind. It's sort of uh, if you're looking to the right of the cathedral, but behind it, if you are looking at the cathedral, okay, on the right hand side. If you need to ask directions, it's next to the conservatorio, the music. Those of you who were on the walk yesterday, we pointed it out, actually. Uh, so that's one thing. Another thing is that if anybody is here tomorrow and still wants to, the, to go to, on the excursions along the coast and between the mountains, uh, they've given us a slightly bigger bus in case this, this was uh, happening. Okay, So just let, let us know so that we don't end up with 50, which would not be possible, but we do have four or five places still. And it's leaving again from in front of the Hotel Campo Amor, okay, the Campo Amor at 9.30. We're back at by half six, by 6.30. Okay, thank you all so much. Thank you.